So these are the two servos that I have bought. They're micro servos, 9 grams. They're incredibly small, incredibly light, and very suitable for the plane that I'm building. Now in order to install these into the fuselage, I need to put in two kind of cross beams. Uh, a servo tray essentially which will hold the two servos in place so I've simply put together um, a, a couple of square pieces of balsa uh, with little stiffeners at either end and that will fit perfectly uh, across the fuselage and hold the servos in place I've also put in two tiny little uh, notches uh, one here and one here and that is because it uh, allows the cable for the servos to easily pass through so I can uh, install and uninstall the servos quite quickly. So now I have the servo tray installed and I've just dry installed the two micro servers. My next job will be to screw them down into position into the servo tray and then I need to start making the push rods which connect the servos to the control surfaces uh, right at the tail end of the plane. In order to judge the length of the push rods, what I've done is I've taken the tail feathers and I've spot glued them in position on the fuselage. I've only used the spot glue at the moment because um, I will I will fully finish off the gluing when everything is, is all covered. And really I'm just using it to try and gauge the length of the push rods that I'd need. So at the back, I've installed the control horns and um, it's these that the push rod itself will move up and down or left and right for the elevator or the rudder. I've inserted one push rod in very loosely and I've inserted it through the slot in the back of the fuselage. And what I'm going to do now is just with my marker pen, go in and mark off the length that I want for that push rod. I'll trim it there and then I will use either square or round pieces of balsa inside to form the main body of the push rod. And then I'll take another piece of metal and I will attach it to the servos that are inside the fuselage. Um, I will do that once I've got the balsa cut for the push rod and then I'll just gauge up to the control surface here, match it up with one of the holes. And once I've done that, then I can do the final bends and attach it through the servo arm. I've now inserted the push rod into the control surface and I've put a little kink in the metal end in order to make it go through the side of the fuselage. And here you can see inside I have my push rod. I've attached it to the metal, as you'll see up here, just using some thread which I've wrapped around um, the metal which has a 90 degree bend in it to insert into the balsa push rod. Uh, and once it's all bound up, then I just drop some super glue onto it. My next job now is just to screw one of these servos down and then I will pick up one of these push rods and align it with the hole, mark the metal, put a 90 degree bend in it and that should slot down nicely into the hole. And that will then mean that the control surface will move. Now I have both servos screwed in to the cross beams and I have inserted the push rods. I haven't fully connected them at the front but I've just dropped them through the servo arms just to make sure that everything is moving and it's not binding further down. So the push rods go down through the rear and out the underside there. So I have Temporarily just set up my receiver and connected it to the servos here so you can see how this works. And there we go. Push rod is moving the elevator up and down. And the same with the rudder. So my next job is just to kind of tidy this up, make sure that there's uh, absolutely no binding, um, particularly underneath. Uh, I do need to make more clearance for the holes for the push rod to come through. 
and once I've that done then I can put in what's called a, a Z bend here at the server arms and that literally just means bending the wire in the uh, the opposite direction um, and that will mean that it's secured onto the server arms itself. I also have to then just drop the two screws down into the servo arms once I'm happy with the throws on the control surfaces.